Hey, Sparky. Right now, now we want to pay tribute to Sparky, so and John wow. is the star. <laughs> I helped him build it. I'll tell you something about this man. When I moved down here about seven years ago, I said, how do you get anything done down here? And they said, see Sparky. <laughs> I said, where's he at? They said, just down the street, you'll find him. And I've known him ever since. And what a great guy. I tell you, he's always mm -hmm. doing something. He's not cutting grass, he's doing something else, and he's busy all the time, aren't you, Sparky? I never see him sit still. He and I, he and I have the uh, same route in Meals on Wheels. He has it on Thursday, and I have it on Monday. And in the height of the winter this past winter, they called and said, Sparky is stuck uh, on the next to last customer, and you go get him. And the next thing, Sparky said, don't come. I'll just wait 20 minutes and my car will start again. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> and 20 minutes later, and then with uh, Meals on Wheels, uh, when I get back, I'm usually back about 1 o'clock. I asked Patsy, I said, what time does Sparky get back? He says about 1.30. Sometimes quarter two, sometimes I'm already gone. Says he stops and he has meals with a lot of people. <laughs> he not only delivers it, he shares it with them. But what a great guy, and uh, I've, I've, it's been a pleasure to know Sparky. And uh, I'll tell a joke on you. There was one time I went by there and he was down on the floor doing some math problems. I said, Sparky, what are you doing on the floor? He said, Well, you told me to do it without any tables. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, Sparky and I have known each other for over 30 years. He and I worked together down in uh, Springfield, Virginia area for a number of years until he became a guru up here in this area. And through the years, uh, I know a lot of you know a lot of the things that Sparky's accomplished. But I'll go over a few of the quickies. Uh, how many of you folks, by the way, have had an opportunity to... Uh, Celebrate a 95th birthday or something. <laughs> Thank you, Sparky. <laughs> Some of the things that really amazed me, he's a World War II hero in the Pacific and a lifetime of help to others, as a lot of you around here know. He's the winner of the uh, George Ganzi Award for Athletic Excellence. And as an example in the Ganzi Award for qualities of leadership, and good sportsmanship and fellowship. And he's also a member of the Appalachian Trail Club Hall of Fame. A lot of you know that. He was just awarded that for doing the Appalachian Trail at least three times. I don't know how many. Three. <laughs> so I can't list all the great things and exciting things you've done in your lifetime, Sparky, but I'm sure proud to have been around for part of it. <laughs> and you've got a special award here, and uh, it's for, it's for, a, as a certified guru, Bob <laughs> Rerun Sparks. And it's for uh, sage advice given to his many friends and admirers. And, oh, it's signed here by by uh, Senator Byrd and President Obama. <laughs> okay, Sparky. <laughs> I've been trying to get this guy to come down to Florida with me for how many years has it been? <laughs> And he always says, oh, yeah, I'll come down. And you know that he doesn't. And finally, I said, look, would you please just come on down? You can stay as long as you like. If you don't like it, I'll send you back home in 10 minutes. 
<laughs> Besides, I got all these women who want to meet you. <laughs> and he wanted to know about these women who wanted to meet him. And I said, well, there's this lady down the street who's 97. And he says, oh, I don't want to meet an old one. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> but he has the strangest sense of humor. You realize that the helicopter that came by did not have the garage door opener? Yeah. You don't know the story, do you? <laughs> you know what he used to do to his poor wife? He would go over the house with the garage door opener in his hand and fly above the house. <laughs> and when he came back down, his wife would say, the strangest things happened all day. The door kept going up and down on the garage. I don't know what's wrong with it. And he thought that was funny. <laughs> you have a very strange sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Sparks about seven years. He's been like a father to me. I've got a lot of stories, but <coughs> Fortunately, I can't tell many of them <laughs> to you folks. <laughs> but I have a small one <laughs> for you today. I've been working on his pontoon boat that he got for the last month. And we're trying to get the motor running. And we've had a real hard time trying to get it running. You know, he sparks, he can fix anything, but he just moves a little slower. So he said, oh, let's just put it in the water. So we put it in the water and yesterday, and or two days ago. And we got it started. My son was helping us out. And we started it. And ran wide open. My son and him took off. <laughs> so we finally got it under control, took it down. I, this morning I worked on it a little bit and I said, look, don't use it until when I get it fixed. Yeah. So what does he do? I'm out on the river today. I come back, the boat's gone. <laughs> He's got everybody on it. Where are they? I think they already left. Uh, they're gone? Uh, He's got his whole family on it. And, uh, he gets down here to get stuck. But we got him back. And <laughs> we got him back. And I, I just love spending time with Clark. I love riding in the Gator. And, you know, he does. we just do a lot of great stuff with him. We had him down for dinner. He's just a great guy. We love you. <laughs>